okay we will try to give the solution for uh, problem number 9 okay so this is also a simple problem uh, once again uh, we will be we will try to be very careful with the uh, arrow mark okay so once the arrow mark is defined this becomes the front view then this is the right hand side view which should be there on the left side okay and uh, the top view is common for all these uh, problems isometric problems so we will try to see what is the total length total breadth and total height so from here you can see that the total length of this one is 108 and the total breadth is 24 20 44 plus uh, another 20 so it is 64 and the total height of uh, this one is 24 plus 32 so it is 56 so 56 is the total height and 64 is the total breadth and 108 is the total length like i mentioned in the previous uh, problems so in the front view we will be able to see the length as well as height so let me start uh, from this particular point okay so in the front view uh, first what i can see is I can draw a 12 mm vertical line okay I can draw a 12 mm vertical line and after that so this entire distance until here it is this entire distance uh, is 88 mm here okay here it is clearly mentioned so what I will try to do is I will try to draw 88 mm at the bottom like this okay and after this uh, what is this height this height is nothing but 24 mm so from here i am trying to draw 24 mm height okay and uh, this vertic this uh, line becomes zero in the front view because it is perpendicular uh, to the front view and after this so this distance is 6 mm this is 6 mm okay and uh, after this at the bottom here at this 88 mm point at this 88 mm point okay so that point is exactly same as this one okay again this vertical distance becomes zero okay so that's why what i can do is i can directly draw this horizontal distance so this horizontal distance how much it will be there it will be equal to 20 so how i am telling that so from this point to this point it is 88 and this total distance is 108 so this distance will be equal to 20 mm so what i am doing here is so from here i am drawing directly 20 mm distance okay and uh, now i'll try to join so this point with this uh, point such that I will get some inclined line like this. Okay. So it is done. Okay. And uh, coming to this point once again. Okay. So what is this particular distance? So we can see at the top this particular distance is equal to how much? This particular distance is equal to 44. Okay. So I am trying to draw 44 from here. Okay. So let us assume that uh, this is 44 and uh, what about this curve here what about this curve in the front view it won't appear like a curve for you in the front view rather it will appear like a straight line so here as well as here okay so we can see that uh, this curved plate is so there from there in this entire area okay so this radius is uh, 44 okay so what i can do is so from here i can draw a vertical line like this okay what should be the total height from here so uh, before uh, i mean at the starting of this problem what i told you is so i told you that the total height is 56 okay 24 plus 32 already we have uh, drawn 12 mm until here so in 56 if i take out uh, 12 mm okay the remaining distance is 44 so from this point so from this point to this point so i can uh, draw this one as 44 and uh, here also 44 and uh, here also 44 okay so it will come like this okay and after that so let me come let me talk about this particular point here this particular point is nothing but so this particular point over here okay and after this uh, what is this horizontal distance here this particular horizontal distance is nothing but 32 which you can see at the right side okay so that one 32 i am trying to draw draw it over here okay so that uh, 32 and after that this vertical distance so what is this vertical distance over here this vertical distance is 32 okay so this vertical distance is 32 so it will exactly stop somewhere over here and uh, just now i have stopped over here 
and this horizontal distance so this horizontal distance is how much so here you can clearly see that it is 12 mm okay so if i join this one with this one so now i think my entire uh, front view is done almost okay only one thing is left out what is that the dotted lines for this semicircle okay so in this 32 mm block so you assume this one as the 32 mm block okay in this 32 mm uh, if they are saying that the semicircle is 20 mm then the then the radius will be equal to how much then the radius will be equal to 20 okay so from top till a distance of 32 mm this semicircular block is there so that's why in this 32 mm what i will do so from here uh, from this point i will try to mark uh, 20 mm and from there i will try to give the dotted lines so until here okay so these things what i have uh, uh, given dotted line it is for the semicircular shape here okay so with this i have completely done with the front view and uh, as usual so once again we will try to give the projection lines uh, before drawing the other views so this is uh, for the top view so these projection lines are very much important uh, if you want to do your uh, diagram very neat and good okay so these projection lines you already know that uh, the projections lines are drawn with uh, h or 2h pencil so they should be as much light as possible okay so try to draw this projection lines neat okay so i am trying my best uh, to do these projection lines good okay and uh, this top okay so these are the projection lines for drawing the side view and the top view okay so we will complete the top view first so you can see that uh, let me erase off uh, these things which are extra okay done so coming to the top view since you are standing over here that means for the front view so this becomes the back okay so the back will come over here okay let me start from this particular point always uh, i prefer uh, uh, drawing the top views from the back side okay because adjacent uh, exactly below the front view when we are trying to draw the top view the lines that are coming over here so they uh, coming uh, over here okay so those lines are related to uh, the back lines okay the back lines for the front view uh, sorry top view okay so let me start from here so what you are seeing in the top view is something uh, of l shape so with a distance of 44 by 32 so you already know that uh, this particular distance is 44 so by taking some convenient distance for drawing the top view what i am trying to do here is i am trying to draw this 44 mm line okay this 44 mm line is nothing but so this particular line and after that i have another 32 mm line so in the front view you can see that uh, this this distance is 32 so until that one i will draw it okay and after this what you have you have 12 mm like this okay so 12 mm i am drawing it like this okay and after this uh, uh, once again come back to this uh, original original position you can see that uh, this thickness is how much this thickness is 20 so i am drawing another uh, 20 mm over here okay and after this again uh, 44 mm okay and after this what about this distance this distance this distance is nothing but uh, uh, you know that this complete distance is how much 40 plus 12 plus 12 so 64 40 plus 12 52 plus 12 64 so out of 64 if i take out 20 so i will get another uh, 44 so i am drawing uh, another 44 like this okay so i came until here and after that this distance is again 32 mm so this distance is 32 and uh, i am here and here this particular distance is 12 mm okay so i am trying to draw that 12 mm so let me give that 12 mm little bit more okay so now what is the uh, semicircular distance that is here so it is 40 mm okay 
so just try to mark the center here take 20 mm on the compass and uh, try to draw a neat circle semi circle sorry semi circle so already in the front view from the front view i have taken the projection line for the semi circle so just pr uh, trying to touch that one so the semi circular shape should come like this okay so this is what you will be able to see in the top view about uh, this l shape okay and after that let me continue uh, at this point 32 it is exactly same as this one okay what will happen to this vertical distance uh, in the top view so we will, you will not be able to see the height in the top view that's why this distance becomes zero and after that what we have so we have 12 mm okay here we have 12 mm and after that uh, what about that inside distance so this distance is equal to 20 which you can see here 20 plus 24 plus another 20 so this distance will be equal to uh, how much so this distance will be equal to 20 mm so from here 20 okay and uh, if you come to this point okay so this distance is also 12 mm and again here also it is equal to 20 mm and the middle left out distance will be equal to how much 24 this distance is equal to 24 but before drawing that 24 we have another 6 mm here which we have already left uh, uh, which we have already drawn in the front view and i have taken the projection line for the 6 mm also so just try to draw that line 6 mm line at both ends okay and after this this line okay so this line is nothing but 24 mm line okay this one okay and after that this inclined rectangular block is there right this inclined rectangular block will uh, get reduced and uh, it will appear in the uh, it will appear in the top view okay so already in the front view i have drawn that inclined block so this is that inclined block okay so that inclined block line lines should come like this something like this okay and uh, coming to this particular point so this 20 mm which is uh, nothing but this one okay so again in the top view what will happen to this curve this curve as well as one more curve which is there over here so what will happen to this curve and uh, one more curve which is there over here so these two curves will become straight lines okay so until what distance until this particular distance so for this one this is one particular curve and this is another particular curve which is already already merged with this uh, with this straight line okay and after that this horizontal line so this horizontal line is the top so that one i am completing now so with this so the complete uh, we have uh, completely done with our top view and the next going to the side view so when we are uh, seeing this one from the side so what are what are the first things that you will be able to see is 20 mm by 24 mm block here okay right 20 mm by 24 mm block over here and after this the 24 mm block and after this 20 by 24 mm block okay so that things you will be able to see in the side view okay let me start uh, from this point okay oh sorry so let me start uh, with this point okay so from here uh, i'll try to draw 20 mm and the height is uh, 24 this height is 24 and uh, this height is also 24 okay so now i have completed uh, uh, 20 by 24 mm block okay and after that uh, we have uh, 24 mm distance and after that we have another 20 mm distance okay and uh, this particular point is nothing but this particular point over here okay so from here i am trying to draw another 24 mm to the top and again 20 mm and uh, another 24 mm okay so now what we what will happen to this small 6 mm distance in the side view that small 6 mm distance as well as this uh, bigger distance that is there 20 mm distance those distances will become zero in the side view why because in the side view we are able to see only breadth and uh, height so we are able to see breadth and height we are not able to see the lines which are related to length okay so that's why what will happen is so these lines will become zero okay so the, the remaining left out portion so we can just complete it like that okay yeah after this so this particular uh, line which is perpendicular to the side view 
so this becomes zero as well as this becomes zero and after that directly what we will be able to see is 32 mm height by 12 mm rectangular block okay so this height is 32 and uh, 12 mm and again 32 okay similarly on the other side also this is height 32 12 mm and another 32 okay and uh, what is the remaining uh, left out portion in the middle so though this middle i am talking okay so though this particular uh, thing is like semicircle in the side view it will not appear like a semicircle to you okay it will appear just like a rectangular block so just if you try to draw a line like this so this entire left out portion is nothing but 40 mm by 32 mm uh, semicircular block which is appearing like a rectangular block in the side view okay so we have almost done with our uh, side view also okay and the only thing left is the dotted line for the curve over here so we have uh, curvature 44 radius curvature over here so for that one what we need to do is so the curvature is starting at a distance of 20 mm so from this end so from this end at a distance of 20 mm so the curve is starting so what we have to do is so we have to mark uh, the 20 mm somewhere over here so and uh, uh, at what height uh, this curve is starting it is starting at a height of 12 mm okay it is or uh, rather it is ending at a height of 12 mm so from this point if i take it, this one as the starting point from here it is coming over like this and it is ending at a height of 12 mm okay so already we know that uh, this particular distance is 12 mm and i have taken the projection line from here also so from this point what i should do is so i should neatly draw a dotted line so which i am trying to draw something like this okay so what uh, to get that one what you should do is uh, you should take uh, the center as this one okay if you take the center as this one from this point to this point so this distance will be equal to 44 and from this point to this point this distance also will, will be equal to 44 okay so neatly you try to draw some particular arc but that should be dotted so why we are drawing dotted because we are not able to see that curvature from the side view because we are not able to see that curvature in the side view that's why we have to draw it dotted from the side view so this is the complete solution for your uh, iso given isometric view that is problem number nine okay